three kids. Come join us. It's time to get started. Creek Kids. Hi everyone. I'm Sarah and this is our friend Macy Lou. Hi kids. We're so glad you're with us. We are. Oh, Miss Sarah, can we all wave hello to each other? Let's do it. Kids, can you turn to us or someone near you and wave hello? Ready, set, go. Hello Hi. kids. Hi hello, Miss Sarah. <laughs> okay, okay. We can all stop waving now. Kids, we are so happy you're here. In Valley Creek Kids, we believe that hope is here, everyone is welcome, and Jesus changes everything. Yeah, Jesus is hope. He's the Son of God who came to save us. He loves us so much. He does, and He loves to spend time with us. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna spend time with Jesus and with each other, having fun as we discover Him together. I can't wait. And Miss Sarah, do you think we could start by playing a game? You bet. Kids, it's game time. Let's listen close as Macy Lou tells us what we're gonna play today. Kids, today we're playing a game called Guess the Sound. This is how you play. You're going to hear a sound and you have to guess what the sound is. When you think you know it, shout it out. Are you ready? I think we are. Kids, let's play. Here is our first sound. Listen close. What is the sound? <laughs> Hmm, what do you think? Let's listen one more time. Okay, kids, if you haven't already, shout out what you think the sound is. Let's see. That was a monkey, wow. Let's do another one. Kids, listen close. What is the sound? Hmm, what do you think? Let's listen one more time. Okay, kids, if you haven't already, shout out what you think the sound is. That was a bird chirping. Okay, let's do one more. Kids, listen close. What is this sound? Hmm, what do you think? Let's listen one more time. Okay, kids, if you haven't already, shout out what you think the sound is. Let's see. That was a garbage truck. Great job, everyone. Yeah, kids, did you guess all those sounds? Macy Lou, what a fun game. Thanks for playing it with us. Of course, I love playing games with everyone in Valley Creek Kids. Me too. Now, kids, Macy Lou, right now, I need you to stand up. Everybody stand on up and wiggle your fingers like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay, now you've got to wiggle your hands. Wiggle your hands. <laughs> now wiggle your arms. Okay, now we've got to wiggle your whole body. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. All right, okay, okay. We can stop wiggling now. Freeze. It's time for us to shout out the four truths that we always remember. The four truths that remind us who Jesus is in the life we get to have because of him. Oh, yay! Kids, are you ready? I think we are. Let's shout out the good news of Jesus together. Here we go. Hey, kids, this is what we believe. Repeat after me. God is good. God is good. Jesus has forgiven me. Jesus has forgiven me. Kids, because God is good, He sent Jesus to forgive us. So now we get to live in relationship with Him forever, knowing that we are loved and that with Him, everything is possible. That is the good news of Jesus, the story of hope that we have because of Him. Wow, thanks for shouting that out with us, kids. Yeah. Now, everyone, look down at your feet. I have a question for you. What are your feet doing? Are they standing up? If not, go ahead and stand back up. <laughs> oh yeah, kids, make sure that you're standing up because I think it's time to worship. 
Isn't it, Miss Sarah? It is. We are going to worship. That means that together we're going to sing and dance in response to who Jesus is and what he has done for us. Hooray! Come on, kids. Let's worship Jesus together. Worshiping kids, you can go ahead and sit down now. Yes, everybody sit down, find your spot, get comfy. Are you all sitting? Okay, good, because kids, right now, I have something I want to show you. It's the Bible. Oh, the Bible. We read stories and things from the Bible all the time in Valley Creek, kids. That's right. You see, kids, the Bible is from God. It isn't a regular book, it's from Him. Something that He has given us to teach us more about who we are, who He is, and what we're created to do. And for the next few weeks, we're gonna be talking about some basic theology, which really just means we'll be discovering what the Bible says about God and a whole wide range of topics. Ooh, okay, I can't wait. I want to hear what the Bible says about God and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and Macy Lou, Kids, as we discover what the Bible says, there's a Bible verse I want us to keep in mind. Are you ready to hear it? Yes, yes. Kids, are you ready? <laughs> okay, well, everyone, let's check this out. Hey, kids. In the Bible, Psalm 25, 5 says, Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Everyone, can you do that with me? Repeat after me. Guide me. Guide me in your truth, in your truth, and teach me, and teach me, for you, for you, are God my Savior, 
our God, my Savior. And my hope is in you. And my hope is in you. All day long. All day long. Now let's say it all together. Ready? Here we go. Guide, Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. Awesome. Great job, everyone. See, kids, the Bible is full of truth that God wants us to discover. He created us, He saved us, He loves us, and we get to put our hope in Him and allow Him and His Word to teach us and guide us. Wow, I'm so glad God gave us the Bible. Me too. So today, let's see what the Bible says about God. Today, we're discovering that God is bigger and better than we think. God is amazing. He is so big and so amazing that there is no end to the things we can discover about Him. Whoa, like even if we read the whole Bible? Yeah, we can read the Bible again and again and again and discover more about God every single time. And what we read just leads us to experience Him and discover Him more in our life too. Kids, God is bigger and better than we think. He is limitless. He is endless. There is no one like him. Cool. I'm so excited to discover more about him together. Me too. So how about we all take a deep breath in and out. Let's do that one more time, everybody. Take a deep breath in and out. Good job. Now, let's discover what the Bible says about God. Let's discover that God is bigger and better than we think. Picture this with me. God is bigger and better than we think. There is no end to Him or to His goodness. Nothing to compare Him to. Because there is nothing and no one like Him. He is the creator of all things. He exists outside of time and space. He is three in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He is the only one with no beginning and no end. He is always right, always perfect, always loving, and always good. I mean, can you imagine God, big and powerful, holding the whole universe in his hands as he rules over all of creation? Yet, as big as God is, and as powerful as God is, he also knows you. He knows everything about you. Every hair on your head, every thought in your brain, every feeling in your heart, God made you and he knows you. Can you imagine big, powerful God close and right next to you, paying attention to every breath you take and every beat of your heart? God really is bigger and better than we think, strong and mighty, yet soft and gentle, always and forever, yet here and now, creator of huge mountains and billions of stars, yet also creator of tiny ants and grains of sand. God can't be put in a box. He has no limit. There is no end to discovering Him. And guess what? God wants you to discover Him. He wants you to know Him. He wants you to know who He is and what He is like. We know that this is true because there are many ways that God has chosen to reveal Himself to us. You see, God has given us the Bible, His written word, to teach us more about who we are, who He is, and what He created us to do. He also made the universe and everything in it, especially people, to show and reflect His goodness. He even sent His Son, Jesus, to walk and talk with us here on earth so that we could see and experience Him, God, as a person. God has made so many ways for you to discover Him. But I want to make sure you know this. God doesn't just want you to know stuff about Him. He wants you to know Him, His heart. 
That's why He invites you to be part of His family as His beloved child, discovering Him for the rest of your life. Can you imagine you and God walking next to each other, hand in hand, as you experience the wonder and awe of who He is? There truly is no end to discovering God. He is the most amazing one that exists. There is no one more powerful, no one more loving, no one more good. God will always be bigger and better than we think. Kids, there is no one and nothing like God. He's so big, but still so close. He made things like mountains and in the ocean and all the stars in the sky. But he also made tiny things like ants and, and sand and he's right here with me. I don't even understand how that's possible. Well, Macy Lou, kids. God is bigger and better than we think. You know what? How about we all sing that together? Ready? God is bigger and better than we think. Great job. Kids, I'm so glad we got to discover more about God today. Me too. Right now, I would love to pray for us. Prayer is talking with God, so let's talk with Him about what we discovered today. Let's talk with Him about who He is. Okay. Kids, right now we're gonna put ourselves in a position to focus on God. So I wanna invite you to put your hands out like this or maybe hold them like this, whatever feels comfortable. I also wanna invite you to close your eyes so that you can put all your attention on God and not be distracted by anything else, okay? We can do that. Okay, let's pray. God, you are good. Thank you for giving us the Bible to help us discover more about you and so many other things. I am so glad that you made a way for us to know you and be close to you. So God, would you just help us to discover more about you, to lead us to discover more about who you are and what you are like? It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right. Well, kids, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Now it's time for us to get into our circles. Circles, I love circle time. Yes, kids, circles are where we talk with each other about what we're discovering so we can become like Jesus together. We have a few questions for you to talk about and something you can pray together, okay? I can't wait. Well, kids, I'm so glad you joined us today. Me too. We got to have fun and discover what the Bible teaches us. Yes, I'm so glad we got to spend time discovering that. God is bigger and better than we think. Can you all sing that with me one more time? Ready? God is bigger and better than we think. Great job. We can't wait to see you next time. Go always remembering the four truths that, say these with us if you know them. God is good. Jesus has forgiven me. I am loved and everything is possible. Bye.